لكن تحديت الظروف وخذتها وحدي صبورا مستعينا بالصلاة كم مرة عصف الأنين بداخلي كم مرة قد ذاك قلبي من أساء محنتها وكم كرهت مصابها بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. This video will highlight hypocrisies, double standards, and outright disregard for the Syrian conflict. And again, you might say, "Brother Haji, that's harsh." But when I go into the video, you will see these influences, unfortunately, have no consistency, no allegiance to the causes of the believers. They backtrack. They say or tweet stuff and then later on contradict themselves and you'll see this as the video goes on. Now, two individuals in question, influencers, but to me they're just they're cringe. Uh, Hoop Finesse, uh, well he's got a, twin brother, a twin, twin brother named Musa and the individual in question who's caused this whole debacle is these two influencers need to understand that the believers are not going to sit idly by when they see such discontent. And your cheek, your arrogance, you know, Mr. You cannot cancel me. And your arrogance is absolutely shocking. And without going into so much uh, details right now, let's just ease you in gently. Okay. Now, what's happened, just to give you a bit of backdrop. Hoop Finesse has a twin brother called Musa. Pull up, pull up for success. And... Musa signed up for a tournament. Whether these new individuals knew about Bashar al-Assad and, and his crimes and what has been perpetrated, you will see as, as, as the video goes on that they didn't know, but then they knew, you know, and it's just all over the place because the Benjamin spoke. So, one of the brothers is more influential than the others. I don't know even why the other one is. It's just cringe. But he was promoting his brother's up-and-coming tour to the um, regime's territory, who has been ultimately responsible for massacres for over 10 years. We'll show you human rights reports highlighting the, you know, abuses and massacres um, prior to the Syrian revolution. But they didn't know about anything about this because, you know, they're just influencers, right? So what happened was the, the believers came out and said, what, what's going on here? More so, um, a, a brother, which I'm going to play his video uh, as, as it proceeds. So, without further ado, as you can see on screen, we've got Hoop Finesse. We've got his screenshots because he also blocked me on TikTok after engaging with me. You know, they're, they're, they're so inconsistent that it's absolutely embarrassing. So anyway, so Hoop Finesse mentioned, for the self-righteous Muslims, they always love, you know, badgering Muslims, condemning me and my brother. And look at the laughing emoji. Look at this. Well, why your opinions mean nothing to me? Okay, that's fine. He went to Syria to play ball, that's it. Your opinions mean nothing to me. I guarantee you're going to watch this video. <laughs> Let's get that out there. He didn't know anything of Bashar al-Assad. Look where the arrow's over. He did not know anything of Bashar al-Assad or his regime or his territory and neither did I. Just bear that in mind because I'm going to come back to this later. You are so ready to backbite and ridicule. Then, as you can see underneath, he mentions Musa arrived safely in Syria. Alhamdulillah. So, let's iron out some key points here. Musa, who's pull up for success, did not know anything about Bashar al-Assad. Knew nothing about Bashar. Did not know there was a president of Syria called Bashar al-Assad. Nobody's regime. So, 10 years on, meaning a conflict, one of the most brutal conflicts of the 21st century, nearly 500 to 600,000 people dead. How many refugees? You don't know anything about the regime. Did not know about the Arab Spring and, you know, what happened with the protests and then, the, you know, the massacres in, in Dera'a. And the, knew nothing about anything at all. About the regime, what they did. Or his territory. So did not know nothing about the conflict. Did not know nothing about, you know, the back and forth that had been happening for 10 years. Nothing, nothing about it. And neither did I. So this hoop, for, uh, hoop finesse, is that right? Hoop finesse, yeah. He did not know nothing either. So both brothers are plain ignorant and dumb. You're ready to backbite, etc. Now... Be patient with me because as the video continues, it would expose them 
for the frauds and charlatans they are. Now, as you can see on screen, we've got Musa. They're twin brothers, by the way, if you, if you didn't know. Here is Musa, pull up for success outside the mosque of Khalid bin Walid, radiallahu anhu, okay? In Hims, I think it is. Is it Hims? Yeah, Hims or Hums. I think you could pronounce it both ways. So here he is sitting there, smiling, okay? Outside the mosque of Khalid bin Walid, radiallahu anhu. Now, come back to me now. This individual can just sit there, smile, not knowing what the regime did near enough nine years ago when they threw rockets at the mosque, destroyed the grave or the shrine of Khalid bin Walid anhu. Absolute destruction. Now let's show him, because he did not know nothing, but later on you'll see how they contradict themselves. So now let's show you a video of how the regime whose territory he's in and is whitewashing their crimes and sport washing, you know, their uh, events by just, you know, ignoring all the 500,000 people that this regime and uh, the leader who the basketball club he's playing for is basically connected to the regime. But, he, you know, he wants, just wants the paycheck, doesn't he? Let's show you how they desecrated, destroyed, you know, disregarded, violated the mosque of Khalid bin Walid radiallahu anhu. Have a watch. الله أكبر تدمير جامع خالد مريض الصحابة قصفوا بالصواريخ حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل بعد تدمير الضريح يقومون تدمير الجامع الآن الشبيحة حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل There you go, pull up for failure Because that's what your name should be Pull up for failure Because you failed the Ummah You failed the Syrian people By voluntarily sign, signing up for a tournament um, You know legitimizing and endorsing Bashar al-Assad because in essence you have not followed the developments of what took place in Syria it was just you know a nice contract for you you're just a basketball player so that's fine so uh, go play uh, a tournament in Burma then okay let's see how the Rohingyas tree you might as well go to Yingjiang as well you know go play for a tournament for the uh, Chinese as well yeah go for them yeah that's fine mate go betray the Uyghurs as well because it's just bored for you isn't it pull up for failure and you see, now the mosque of Khalid bin Walid who not knowing nine years prior if you would have did your research, you and your brother, because you didn't know. Well, you did, but we'll show you that. But you didn't know. Um, so if you would have knew, the question to you now is, if you knew that the regime did this to the, to the mosque, you stood outside, which has been refurbished, it seems like now, uh, would you have went? Me, personally, if you were to ask me, I don't think it would have made a difference. You still would have went. And you would still use the same argument. Oh, yeah, but you know, I'm just a basketball player. Huh? And I'll show you a private message that you um, that you were being disrespectful to a Syrian sister and, you know, placing laughing emojis, etc. So, as I said before, from what I can, you know, gather from your interactions and your communication, if you knew about this desecration of the mosque of Khalid bin Walid, wouldn't have made a difference to you. You still would have went. Because you took a photo outside of it, like it was nothing, right? You didn't know, but if you would have knew, you would not have an ounce or an atom worth of difference to your opinion. Let me be honest with you, Masjid al-Aqsa gets desecrated quite often by the Sahayana. Um, that don't make a difference to you either, because you ain't got no standing for the causes of the believers, or even, and I know, dare I say, the Muqaddasat, because you're just a basketball player, right? Anyway, let's get into this now. Remember Hoot Finesse, which is, I don't even know his name, but Hoot Finesse is the other brother in America. He's in Syria. Remember he said he didn't know. Let's put it back on screen again. He goes, I didn't know. For the self-righteous Muslims condemning me and my brother. Laughing emoji. Okay, wallah, your opinions mean nothing to me. As I said before, you're going to be watching this video, I assure you. He went to Syria to play ball, that's it. He did not know anything of, the, um, he did not know anything of Bashar al-Assad or his regime or his territory and neither did I. You are so ready to backbite. Now look at this. As you can see, he's responded to um, live updates from Syria. And as you can see, he mentions, turn a blind eye. Wallahi, you should be ashamed of yourself. I have already, I already have a campaign ready in January to travel to Syria to spread awareness of the conditions. I've done several campaigns in the past for Syria. So you did know about Bashar al-Assad or his regime or his territory. Because you've done campaigns in the past in Syria. So you would have known about the human right 
uh, violations, abuses, the refugee camps. Like, how did they end up getting there? How did they move from, you know, Halab to Idlib? Or how did they move from Dera to Halab? You know, these refugees that left their territories due to the, um, you know, massacres and the abuse and the oppression of the regime, who's, who your brother went voluntarily. The harsh reality is, you did know about it. Because you raised or did several campaigns in the past for Syria. You call that turning a blind eye? Who messaged me, etc. You knew about what happened in Syria because you've done campaigns for them in the past, right? Because these refugee camps that you've been to, there now and you really think that you're just gonna throw a few food boxes and parcels and think everything's going to be hunky-dory and all good? No, mate, no, we don't forget this. You knew about the atrocities of Bashar al-Assad because in your own response to live updates from Syria, you said, I've done several campaigns in the past for Syria, so you must have knew about Bashar al-Assad. You must have knew about the, the regime. You must have knew about the territory, meaning because if you've done campaigns for Syria, you would have known that refugees have left their uh, home cities and towns and villages to settle in, you know, refugee camps or, you know, tents because of the fighting, etc. Now, this was caused by the regime, so you didn't know. So you can't be trusted. Your integrity is called into question. And I'll be frank with you, your testimony is also called into question now. I don't think your testimony should be accepted because you backtrack. And when it comes to the causes of the believers, مَنْ لَمْ يَحْتَمْ بِأَمْرِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ فَلَيْسَ مِنْهُمْ Whoever does not care about the causes of the believers or the issues of the believers is not from them. And I'm not making takfir, I'm just saying. The way you're laughing and, you know, and your brother will get to him later, you two are absolute disgrace. Disgrace. So let's continue on to show you that this man is so inconsistent, it's unbelievable. As you can see on screen. Y'all acting like I'm in Syria drinking tea with a Bashar. With, with Bashar. Uh, you didn't know about him, but you did, really. I didn't sign there. Yes, you didn't. But your brother did, which you were promoting, which you were sharing his, his photos and stuff. So yeah, you, you, you did know. If it was me, I wouldn't sign there knowing what I know now. Now you see where the arrows are, what I know now. That's rubbish, mate. That is rubbish. Don't try to insult our intelligence. You knew this way before because you raised campaigns in the past. So stop trying to pull the wool over our eyes. We are not stupid. And at the end of the day, you knew all along what was happening in Syria. You knew about the massacres. You knew about the oppression. And you supported your brother and promoted him only until you got called out. You backtracked. All right. So don't take us for a fool, you muppet. Okay, let's carry on. You guys are so quick to shame and bash. That's what's really disgraceful. Okay, okay, okay. I knew of the war, but I didn't know where Musa would be playing. I know who he would be playing for. You gotta be that stupid to know that if Musa has signed for a tournament in Damascus, right? Where you know about Bashar, okay? You did, okay? Whose territory would have that been? Whose control that would have been in? No, you didn't know. Stop taking us for a fool, you idiot. That's Musa's responsibility, not mine. Now he's trying to throw his brother under the bus. But you were supporting him and promoting him and, you know, sharing his photos and tweets and, oh, was it my other half? Yeah, whatever. And you blocked me on TikTok as well, mate. Stop, stop acting all holier than thou. He will do what he believes is right and what's good for his family. There you go. Hit the nail on the head. He don't care about the Syrian families. He don't care about the, the children uh, who have been innocently killed by the barrel bombs of Bashar al-Assad and they are say the, the Russian bombs since 2014. Now that Russia committing atrocities in Ukraine, you know, they were doing it seven, eight, nine years ago before, well, seven years ago, you can say, before they started, you know, invading Ukraine, okay? Uh, we, I hope whatever he decides to do is pleasing to Allah, is it? Okay, is it? Okay, coming back to me now. Now let me ask, uh, pull up for failure and hoot finesse, okay? Putin now is invading Ukraine, causing all sorts of massacres in Ukraine, invading Ukraine. Just imagine, right, Putin organized a tournament, okay? They weren't even allowed in the World Cup because of this uh, invasion. But just say now that he creates a tournament, um, and a football tournament, okay, soccer, okay? And they invite many footballers to join this tournament. Do you think 
the Western public will accept that? Do you think the Western public will sit quietly knowing what Putin is doing in Ukraine? Do you think that those who sign up to that tournament to play in Russia, do you think the British people or the American people or the Australian people or the West, the abject West would accept and would not voice their concern against such betrayal to the Ukrainian people? But no, when it comes to Muslims, when it comes to the Syrians, you and your brother didn't care. You and your brother did not care. And that's fact. Now, as you can see on screen, we've got a Twitter account from uh, Razan Safur. This is what we deal with as Syrians when we call people out for normalizing regimes that murder us. There you go. Religious, I think religion. Religious is manipulated. Ignorance is defended. We're well, unblasted and our words are misconstrued. Whilst our friends and mutual contacts remain silent because who cares, right? Now look at pull up for failure. Look at his attitude. Shameful on you to write that comment on my post. I do not represent any regime or support murder. Okay, yeah. I'm here to work. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so just uh, catch the next flight after this tournament to uh, China and go play in Yingjiang, okay? Uh, knowing what they're putting the Uyghur, uh, Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps. But yeah, you, you're just doing what's best for you and your family according to your brother, right? Don't care about the millions of, of, of uh, you know, Muslims that are locked up in concentration camps and, you know, their liver's been taken and um, you know uh, what they've been doing. Oh, but you're going to play the ignorant card. You don't know, do you? Yeah, when you get there, you, you, you don't know, but you'll find out afterwards. Yeah, go figure. There's no sin to choose a city to work in. So don't work in America or China or France or many other places. Okay. How evil is you to say such claims about me that are false, far from any truth? Look, look at his attitude now with the arrows over. I won't even let you respond because you're going to be blocked. And look, the laughing emoji, then you the face palm, and then your peace. A'udhu billah from evil lies spread by people like you. I'm here to make a living for my family. Yeah, but you don't care about the, the Syrian family that have been massacred by the regime for over 10 years. You don't care about that, but you care about your family. What makes your family more important or valued than the Syrian family? But you want to go get paid, don't you? Scumbag. And then uh, Tox Aid Worker responds by saying, Bro, you cannot claim ignorance. I personally messaged you and explained everything. Posting pics in those territories and playing sport there is unacceptable. You're, you are whitewashing their crimes in unintentionally. Just take your pics down. So let's see if our opinion means anything to you. I'm sure you're watching. Look into my eyes. I'm sure you're watching, right? I'm sure you're watching. Look into my eyes. Hmm? I'm sure you or your brothers remember the name. Bro Hadji. Okay? Like, share and subscribe. So take care of yourselves. What's the line on Muhammad? ليس الغريب غريب الشام واليمن إن الغريب غريب الأحد والكفن إن الغريب له حق لغربته على المقيم في الأوطان والسكن سفر بعيد وزاد لا يبلغني وقوتي ضعفت والموت يطلبني ما أحلم الله عني حيث أمهلني وقد تماديت في ذنب ويسترني تمر ساعه 